call from? Jared. Jared. Wait, did I actually get on this? Yeah, you did. Holy shit! Okay. Well, uh, are you are you okay? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess my secret is is that um, I'm a ghostwriter for uh, romance novels. And I secretly really hate it. You secretly really hate it. Yeah, it's the only way I can make money, though. Why do you hate it? Because everything I create, it just feels like a lie. Really? You yeah. you can't handle the fact that it's not you who's getting the credit or that you're selling off your work as something that it's not? It's just everything I write, it's just such bullshit and everyone eats it up. Tell me about these things that you write. I mean, give me, give me, do you have maybe a sentence of your writing that you could share with us that people are always like, man, I love that sentence, but you're like, this sentence is bullshit. I don't know why you like that sentence. You're an idiot. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, give me a sentence. I'm not proud of this. I'm going to admit. Please. Hit me. Uh, uh, God, I got a thing. Yeah. I guess there is this one scene in uh, this book. Of course, it's a fucking medieval fairy tale. And mm, so, sounds hot. you know, the Prince Charming uh, walks in after, uh, I think, it's either some kind of giant dragon or... What was the dragon? You see, well, let's just say it was a dragon. He okay, comes in after dragon. fighting a dragon. Yeah. Yes. Or a giant gecko. Something of okay. that sort. Fire right. being gecko. Sure. And yeah. uh, the the worst line that sticks with me and haunts me is, he looked at her with fervorless love and compassion and swooned her. I, 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 that hurt I, me. I, I don't like that line because fervorless... I mean, fervor is a good thing, right? It's like passion, and and uh, I, I have such fervor. So, if like mm -hmm. fervorless love, it would be a bad thing. Yeah, that's not proud of it. It, it haunts that's me. a good no. That's a good setting for a scene because I think that works well together, the prince and the princess, because that guy just killed a dragon or the knight and the knight, the knight's girlfriend or whatever, that guy just killed a dragon. And I feel like if you kill a dragon that fills you with, I don't know, maybe some sort of sexual adrenaline and watching someone kill a dragon also would fill, I mean, it'd fill me with, you know, some sort of sexual uh, adrenaline or desire for that person. So I feel like that's a good context uh, leading up to two people making, a, you know, passionate, passionate love. So know. maybe I, I the don't. sentence is not fantastic, but I think the premise as a whole uh, makes total sense. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I have that disconnect from it because after I'm done shooting a deer and gutting it, I I don't want to go out and plow my girlfriend. That's maybe that's just me. okay. Well, a deer is a lot less sexy than a dragon. Would you fuck a dragon? No, I'm no, I'm not saying I would fuck a dragon. I'm saying that if I, I'm saying, do you know what sexual transmutation is? You, there's like, a guy goes out and he kills a dragon, and he's like, I'm, I'm, uh, that may, I feel so confident having killed that dragon, and then someone sees that and they're like, that guy killed a dragon. That was really hot of him, and then that makes the two people want to have sex. Okay, that's fair. I just, I just never, I've always had that disconnect with a lot of the shit I write, so that's fair. Well, I'm happy I could explain it to you. Thank you. You have a wonderful rest of the night. I'm this? sorry. Why? I'm sorry. Well, you never have you're to. Gonna, uh, you're gonna... To what? What, Matt? What, Matt? You're... What? 
you said you're going to be mean, and I just wasn't prepared for that, to be honest. You weren't prepared. See, here's the problem, Matt. You 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 prepared. You, here's the thing, Matt. If, Matt, if you're going to not prepare, you have to lean into it. You can't prepare to be unprepared. You, I feel you didn't lean you into know, your unprepared. You know what's because, funny? I, don't. I don't believe the anger at all. Like, you could do a little better, I think, if you would accept a little criticism. And what, do you, what, what do you mean, anger? I just didn't believe it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. You seem pretty chill. You seem pretty relaxed. I'm not sh- Where's this anger coming from? I'm not angry at you. Oh. Well, we're back, baby. <laughs> you back know what I'm saying? Right, Matt. <laughs> uh, maybe hey, talk hey. about my secret? Uh, hey. Matt? Yeah, what's up? Yeah. What's your, se- what's your secret? Oh. Uh, I used to, uh, we have this thing in the Midwest called Metro Mobility. Sure. Do you know what that is? Uh, no. It's a, it's a ride share service. Uh, it's for vulnerable adults. Uh, and they can get, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can ride anywhere around the city for three bucks. Okay. All right. Uh, one time <laughs> I, 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 uh, backed into this, the client's mailbox and it was, um, I got out and I was like, fuck, it was, it was like a metal pole and it was off about 12, 15 degrees. Like there's no way you're going to miss it. Mm. And so I go up to the door just trying like coming up with a speech like you know i'm sorry i'm sorry this guy opens the door and he's blind so i didn't tell him i didn't tell him and how did that how did that make you feel at first at first not great to be honest but years later now it's. I love telling that to people. Nice little anecdote. Mm. You know. Sure. Well, I guess if he is blind, then um, he might have to take you know like a half step to the right or something. You know, maybe the first right. time He's he doesn't quite hit the, the handle. Damage. Oh no! It's especially aesthetically, right? Mm. Does a blind man? Oh, go ahead. Well, does a blind man need a straight mailbox? Nah, not really. I mean, you didn't like take it out. You just kind of fucked it up a little bit. Yeah, I just fucked it up a little bit. He'll be fine. I think it was. It was all right. I think it was fine. fine. I mean, what was he gonna? What what did you think he was gonna make you do? Like pay for it? (sighs) I don't even know. I guess that you know that. You know, I wasn't thinking. Obviously, I, that wasn't part of the the math equation. But hold on, he well, next time he goes to check his mail, he's gonna he might hit his knuckle know, in the fuck. wrong spot. <laughs> you well, know, actually, now that, you know, now that you mention it, I actually think it's worse that he's blind. <laughs> no, 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 no. You mentioned it, I think it's worse, right? Because here's what he's here's the thing: he has this like. He has the the what's what's the what's the word the the floor plans of his entire day mapped out yeah. mentally, spatially, you, right? You spatially mapped out in his mind, and you fucked up where his mailbox is. So now, uh, I mean, he could <laughs> you walk, say where it right is? It's in the same point it was, like in the ground. It didn't you, move. But then. But then also, you're going to, like, here's the thing. He has this mental map of what his day is like. I feel like you're going to ruin his confidence in that mental map. Because if, like, he's like, oh, shit, something shifted with the mailbox. What else am I wrong about? What else do I need to go and update oh, about my mental just, uh, awareness of the under... Get, getting older. Just getting older. That's probably you what know. you think. <laughs> probably. Well. My- um, did he tip you? Well. No, they don't really tip at all. I mean, that's kind of the thing. It's for vulnerable adults usually don't have a lot of money to try to save them some money. 
Well, listen, what'd you say your name was? Matt. Matt, I absolve you of all sin, and I hope that you, um, I hope that you enjoy yourself in the kingdom of heaven when you die. Okay. Thank you. And also with you. What? Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay, cool. Call from Joshua. Joshua. Hello? How old are you, Joshua? Hello? Joshua, how old are you, Joshua? Hey, Josh, oh, you gotta turn, hello. Josh, I, you, I, you gotta turn your stream off. I did, I just did, I just did. I apologize. I'm so sorry. You never have to apologize to me for anything ever. You don't owe me anything. You know what you could do right now if you want to? You could say, no, I'm not turning my stream off. Fuck you, and then turn it up louder. I'd hang up on you. <laughs> because <laughs> hey, I, because I, I also don't, because I also owe you nothing. I don't owe you the call, but you don't owe me turning off your stream. Yes. Does that make yes. sense? I, I, yes. We, I we, are, we have no debts to one another. No, we don't. I mean, I've been here for a while on your stream for a couple of months, and I do owe you something for taking the time of my life. It's a good time away from me. A have great time. I appreciate Am I on speakerphone right now? No, all my AirPods. Do me to change? No, you, look, Joshua, Joshua, what year were you born? 97. 97. That's when I was born. Huh. Yes, I was born November 9th, 1997. No, I'm just kidding. I was born in, uh, when was I born? I was forgetting. When was I born? Okay. Joshua, what's your secret? Oh, it wasn't really a secret, but I did have a conversation I want to I want to share with you. That was my weekend experience. Your weekend experience. Yes. Yes. Tell me, please. So I went to visit a friend of mine who lives in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what area, but I went to go see him. All right. Sure. And I went out with a friend of mine. I, I should say acquaintance of mine. And uh, we haven't hung out too much, but we have mutual friends. So I said, sure, I'll drive with you. So we got out there Friday night and I mean, you know, we had a couple of drinks. We had a good time. And Saturday we went out and had a even better time, but it ultimately ended in him getting arrested. And I try to stay far away from police encounters along that line. Cause the field I, the field I studied in my future career, I'm trying to stay out of that. I and it's good to avoid produced, trouble with, uh, with the yeah. law. Yes. Yes. And she ended up pushing a police officer. Ah, what happened to him? Yeah, he, uh, he got tackled by three officers and got arrested. And we had to bail him out of jail at 3 a.m. Okay. So the, the point of me telling you this is um, I graduated from college last year, May of 2020. And I tried to avoid the police counter, like I said. Like, how should I have, like, it was an awkward drive home. It was a really awkward drive home because he drove. He got arrested, and I tried how, to sleep the entire wait, wait, wait. way. How the fuck did he, uh, he, he? That motherfucker's lucky he left that night. What the fuck? How did he even leave yes. that night? Yes. How yes. was he not just it, in it, jail it, it forever crazy. immediately, or di fucking I, dead? I like, I like to believe that it's because he was from out of state, and he was super belligerent, and they just wanted to. Kind of teach him a lesson, put him in a jail cell. We picked him up and they kicked him out. I feel like the police officers that's were also not trying right. to. That's yeah. insane. How old? How old is yeah. he? Yes, he's twenty-two. He's a year younger than me. <laughs> that's bullshit. That's crazy. I agree. I know. Okay. Well, right, right. what, what do, so you're asking what you should have done? No, not really. What I should have done because I did not want to get involved, and I did that. That's I did what I wanted to do and not be involved. So I got okay. in no trouble. Good. Well, the question is, and what I'm questioning myself is, how should I further our friendship? Should I try to, I guess, not make amends? Your friend sounds like a fucking but, moron. Yes, he he is a moron. Yes, yes. I think you should not been further a your friend. I think you should do something else. What do you mean, do something else? Uh, he's a lucky moron, but he's a fucking yes. moron. Yes, yes, he he is, and I agree with that totally. But I've known him for a while, but we haven't hung out in probably about two years because I was away at college and I, I came back within a year. Okay. And we kind of tried to rekindle our friendship. I mean, not that it was died out. We just kind of fell off, fell off. 
And then me coming back to this, like, do I just tell him, hey, like, we're not going to be friends anymore? Or, hey, you got to change your ways? Or, like, I, I, I don't know what I should do. Uh, you got to change your way. I mean, I don't think you have to do anything, man. Like, hmm. You said this, you, you, what do you, what do you, what do you do with your life right now? You said this is a friend from home, right? Yes. Yes. And I, I, I did, I did move, I moved back home because I graduated in May 2020. Okay. And then I moved are out. You planning, are you planning but, on leaving home? Are you planning on going somewhere else? I did plan on going, I did plan on going somewhere else, but other stuff happened and I'm in hospital for a while. And right now I am unemployed because I'm not cleared to work yet. I'm still in physical therapy. I'm injured. I would just stop hanging out with this guy. I don't think you need to okay. Okay. make All it right. into a big, big, big deal. I mean, look, you should stop hanging out with this guy for your own benefit because it sounds like you don't really want to. It sounds like uh, he has different values than you. It sounds like um, you could spend your time better than hanging out with. I mean, I don't know if you like hanging out with him, do whatever you want. But uh, I mean, don't feel don't never hang out with people out of obligation. I, I hate I you know I've had this call, I've had I feel like we've had a lot of people call in about this recently, and they always mention they're always like, oh, I've known him for so long I've known them for it doesn't matter, um, if they are not, uh, uh, you know, th th what you have in common with someone ten years ago can change. So if you feel like you right now would not be friends with him if you met him today then there's no reason to be friends with them just out of that obligation the fact that you've been friends so long yeah yeah i understand that yeah i, I do i do yeah i do but also part of it like it's not i don't feel obligated either because like i said we just kind of rekindled it recently so it's not like we've been the bestest of friends for the past 10 years we were good well, friends that's... like four years ago well, look, he's, lucky, he's lucky he didn't get shot in the face. Yes, I am. Yeah, that, yeah, that could have been really bad. So whatever it, happens it to him is a bonus. That is true, yes. Like, what did you say your I name mean, was? Josh. Well, listen, Josh, good luck to you. Uh, choose your friends carefully. Uh, uh, live your life according to your own values. Um, make sure to think of God and all the sacrifices he makes for you on a, a daily basis and eat your vegetables. And uh, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Of course. I love my broccoli. I always do. I appreciate it. Have a good night, man. You too. Call from this guy. This guy. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? What's, what's up with you? Me? Ah, just chilling out. Calling your phone number for a while now. How are you? Ooh, is there anything you want to talk about? Uh, what's tonight? The secret, right? Tonight's the secret, dude. Haha, <laughs> brother. I'm, uh, I'm about, uh, well, I'm not going to do it today or anytime soon, but I'm going to, I'm going to take somebody down for killing a dog and leaving the scene. <clears throat> T you're gonna take somebody down? Well, put a hurting on him. I'm not gonna kill anybody or anything like that. But uh, you know, where I'm from, you don't you don't run somebody's dog over and just take off. Did somebody run your dog over? <clears throat> not mine. A, a, a good close friend of mine. But it doesn't matter who it was. You know, it's it's, it's a, you know it's a dog, somebody's pet. You know. How are you gonna take them down? What's your plan? <laughs> well, I don't have a plan. Because my old self would, would just walk in their front door and start beating heads. But, uh, no, I'm just going to sit back and wait for a while. Figure out where That's they are. Figure out where they live. That sort of thing. All right, so you don't have a plan. Uh, well, no, because that's, that's – uh, you can't really say your plan. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, you have a plan and you're not saying it or you don't, or you, you don't have a plan? I have probably a million – but uh, it just just happened yesterday, and we finally found where this person lives, and so now it's you know the slow game, you know. Oh well, listen. Here's the problem with vigilantism is that uh, well, I mean, what happens if you you know you're trying to lay down the law, but all right, what happens if you get l l the law laid down on you? Mm. Oh no, I agree with you. You're, you're right, which is why you wait. What are you waiting for? 
uh, time. You have, you have to let time pass. You can't you can't go straight after somebody exactly after something that happens because then you know you wind up you get caught that way. <clears throat> I know okay. it's silly. It sounds like it sounds like vigilante-ish and stunad, but it is you know you go to the cops with this kind of thing. It doesn't really play out. <clears throat> No, why? Is, have you had an experience like that so far where it didn't play out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've always come from the type of place where you just kind of do things on your own, you know? Okay. How, how has that worked for you in the past? Fine. <laughs> Can I hear pretty, about pretty another fine. situation in which you, you had, felt like you had to take matters into your own hands? Um, I, I, man, I've gotten into probably a million fist fights just, just helping other people, you know? Uh, I, I could, I, I could, I, uh, there was one time on the subway where I saw some kid hit an old lady. He had four friends. I took the ass whooping, but I gave an ass whooping and, um, I got pulled into the precinct and one by one, the cops came by quietly told me, good for you, man. I said, well, I'm not Batman. I said, I'm just, I'm just a dude who, you know, saw some lady get hit. <laughs> so. Interesting. How do you find yourself consistently in situations in which? Not anymore. I'm older now. I don't do that anymore. That was the old okay. me. This is the, this is the, you know, I, I got older now. And so this is just something that set me off. You know, mm. <clears throat> I think that's effed up. You, you run over somebody. Well, yeah. I mean, somebody, somebody's speeding up the road, which is like a 10 mile an hour road. Cause it's a back street and you take out somebody's dog and you just take off like that. Yeah. That's, I don't know. That doesn't sit well with me. I'm too injured now to even do anything about it, really, anyway. So that's another reason I'll wait, I suppose. You're injured? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you feel as though being injured will, will affect your ability to lay the, lay the smack down? That's why I'm waiting. What are you waiting for? <laughs> to heal? To heal. Well, yeah, to heal, and it's a smart thing to do. Okay. How, uh, how did you find out where this person lives? Uh, well, everybody has cameras now, you know, so if you take a walk around the neighborhood, knock on doors, you, you get footage and you find the car and you get a piece of the license plate and put it all together. And you get a trail, you find out where they're at. Let me ask you, can I ask you a genuine question? I, I, don't, I don't really have my own opinion about this, but I'd love to hear yours. Absolutely. So after you say uh, all this time of taking matters into your own hands, do you feel as though vengeance has accomplished much for you? Um. Uh, yeah, I, I feel better at the end of the day. I, you know, like I'll, I'll come home with some lumps or, or whatever the case may be. But yeah, because because you know we're, we're at the day and age now where you can't really look to too many people for help when it comes to that sort of thing anymore. So you kind of do have to take things in your own, in my opinion, anyway. <clears throat> if that makes sense, I don't know. I'm just well, yapping here. I hope I hope things work out for you. I hope you stay safe. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> that goes without saying. I I, I I know what to do. <clears throat> well, thank you so much for sharing this guy. I'm glad you called in. Hey, brother. Thanks for talking to me. Of course, man. You have a good night. You too, bro. Call from Rosie. Rosie. Rosie, we've spoken before, right? I don't believe so. I think this is our first time chatting. Oh my god. Rose Rosie <laughs> In that case Hello. How how are you, dude? Um, a little stressed, man, not gonna lie. Rosie. Why are you stressed? Is it because your dreams is it because your life didn't turn out the way you wanted to? Well, actually, kind of the opposite. I got, like, my dream job, and I'm afraid that I'm going to, like, fuck it up. <laughs> What's your dream job? Tell me, please. Um, I'm a ghost writer now. You're a ghost writer. We, this is, we had a, another guy call in at the very beginning of this stream that was a ghost writer. Oh, fuck, really? That's awesome. Wait, shit. He, I've, did he say, wait, did you say you're a ghost writer or a ghost writer? Uh, W-R-I-T-E-R, oh, okay. like, with a pen. <laughs> okay. That's more realistic. I don't yeah, know we had another guy right. call in who was a ghost writer. He hated it. Oh. You don't seem like you hate it, though. It's your dream job. You seem like you like it. Well, I mean, my dream job is, like, I want to, like, write for a living. And this, I guess, is, like, a stepping stone, I guess. <laughs> do you, I mean, 
Are you professional for a living ghost writer? Um, I will be. I'm like in my last year of college right now, and then hopefully I will start writing and um, doing creative things full time. But like, eh, you know, that stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, hmm, okay. So you said it's it's why is this, why are you stressed then? Um, I don't know. It's like. I don't know if you saw um, the new Pixar movie, Soul, but it's like kind of that vibe where like that movie. you get what you've wanted for a long time and then you're like, okay, but am I good enough for it, you know? The imposter syndrome. Yeah, that's the word. Um, I, I think I said something similar to another person who called in about uh, that sort of thing. And I, this isn't my advice. This isn't uh, something I came up with, but I remember reading it somewhere is that, look, when you feel like you're an imposter, either one of two things is going on. Either you are good enough at the thing that you're doing to do it, or you've successfully tricked people into thinking you are. Um, both of which are incredible feats. Key. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping that I'm good enough and that eventually I can like, you know, write for myself and have people like have my name on it and not just write for other people online. Right. I hope you are too. But even if you're not, look at you, you're a little trickster, you're a devious little you know, running around conniving people successfully. It's it's fun. I don't know. I mean that's that's your worst case scenario. That's pretty good. I'm trying it, man. I'm trying to be conniving, I guess. What um what do you what do you write? Um mostly plays. Um but I'm trying to foray into like um nonfiction informative just because that's what people tend to want to have written for them, not really plays. <laughs> mm. Let me ask you, of of the things that I read on the internet every day, of all the articles and um tweets and stuff. How much of it is written by the people that it says it's written by? Maybe like 40%. It's not. There's no way it's 40%. <laughs> no, I'm totally fucking with you. Probably like, maybe like 80. Um, 20, yeah, 80 is still pretty low. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so why don't you think you're good enough to ghostwrite? Man, I don't know. Because it's like, I've only ever written for like me and like some close friends, and also I'm writing in a genre that I, like, have no experience in, so I'm just kind of taking a step out into the ocean, hoping I don't drown. <laughs> what's the, what's the, what's the, the genre? It's, like, mostly, like, informative nonfiction, whereas I'm, like, I like writing, like, fantastical shit. I was one of those, like, high fantasy people as a kid. <laughs> So your ultimate dream, it's to do your own writing. It's to publish under your own name, right? Yeah, probably. Do you, uh, you know, in the midst of all your ghost writing and school going, do you have time to uh, still create work under your own name? Yeah, I mean, part of what I'm studying at school is uh, writing, but mostly for the theater. Um, so I, I am still writing for myself, but it's like weird to have, I guess, like a double life. <laughs> It's cool, though. I mean, you're, you, you, I mean, okay, if you, because here's the thing, and, and for you specifically, the thing I was talking about where, you know, it, if, if uh, uh, it's true that you are an imposter and you tricked everyone, for you, oh my, you, you're like the triple agent, right? Because you trick someone into thinking you're someone you're not. And, the, and then you, and then after that, you trick another person into thinking that you're someone that you're not. I mean, that's the dream. Ah, I think. I mean, I think you you're you're an all over win scenario here, imposter or not. <laughs> as long as I don't get fired because I suck. <laughs> no, you won't get fired. Probably. Um, There's a chance. <laughs> yeah, but if you get fired, just you just do something else. That's true. <laughs> and you'll plus if you get fired, you'll have more time to work on your own stuff. Everything. That is true. Yeah, everything's coming up good for you. I think. I'm just trying to make money, man. It's it's fucking hard, like especially in today's post-COVID economy or during COVID economy. Have you tried stealing? You know, I wanted to. I watched an old lady steal from a Sally Beauty, and I felt this like pang of like jealousy in my heart. <laughs> you could try stealing. You could rob. 
I could. I definitely could. I don't know mm. if I'd be any good at it because I think my poker face is just terrible. Mm. Well, I'm great. Someone trying to be anonymous on the internet, but I'm not great at being sneaky. Listen, what'd you say her name was? Katie. Mm-hmm. Is it Katie? Was your name Katie? Uh, Rosie, close. Rosie, I'm, uh, all right. Well, listen, Rosie. Um, I, again, I think everything is turning up good for you. I think that um, I think you're going to be okay. Whether you're an imposter or a thief or just a really good writer, I'm hoping all of those things. We can all go on my resume. <laughs> imposter and thief, be damned. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing, Rosie. You have a good rest of the night. Of course, you as well. Call from... Devin. Devin? Oh, hi. Devin, we've spoken before, haven't we? No, we actually haven't. Okay. Must have been a, must have been a different Devin. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's not that uncommon of a name. <laughs> must, have been a, must have been someone else whose name was Devin. Yeah. That's funny. What's up? Uh, well, hey, man. What's up with you? What's up, Devin? Not much. Not much. Just um, finally got around to like doing adult stuff today, like filing my taxes and uh, doing my like midterm for philosophy. <laughs> uh, so you work and you're in school. Yeah, I do hair. I do hair and uh, I'm in school for psychology. You do hair and you're in school for psychology. You do hair like you work at a salon. You're a barber. Yeah, I used to work at a salon. Um, I So we had to shut down due to COVID. And then sure. I found a new sure. hair job. But, um, you know, I don't... It wasn't a great place to be, so I kind of quit. And now I just do, like, freelance. <laughs> mm. So I'm, like, out of breath. <laughs> Why are you out of breath? Because I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, don't be don't be nervous, Devin. Devin, you seem like a, a a good guy. I mean, I don't know. Have you killed anyone ever? Have you ever killed a person? <laughs> no, I can't even eat meat. I'm vegetarian. I feel too bad eating meat. <laughs> oh my god, you're a sweetheart, Devin. Devin, man, what's uh, what's your secret, Devin? Um, I guess my secret would be that I want to fuck minotaurs. Mm. Why do you want to fuck minotaurs? I don't know. Something about it. They're just like, it's like divine masculine energy. And on top of that, just like all the hair and the horns. I just love it. Now, a minotaur is a half man, half horse, correct? No, no, no. That's a centaur. Minotaurs are half bull, uh, half man. Okay. okay. Kind of. I mean, they're like, st- sorry for yeah. confusing minotaurs and centaurs there. I apologize for that. You're fine. A centaur. I guess I was thinking of a centaur. Yeah. And a minotaur is half man, half bull. Yeah. I want to be honest with you. The bottom half of a horse and the bottom half of a bull, uh, when you zoom out, not that different. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> But I totally, digress. Like, right. So you, I mean, here's the thing, though, is that uh, the parts that you would be interacting with sexually are more so that of the bull than of the man. Who knows? I guess that's something I want to find out. Well, you can either. Well, OK, so if you were to fuck the bull in the ass, you'd be putting your penis in the bull ass, which is part of the bottom half of the creature. Right. Mm, it would be the other way around. I am not a top. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry. All right. So you want to get fucked by the bull, but you would be getting fucked by the penis of the bull, also located on the ha- on the bottom half. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, who knows? Not an actual bull. Not well, an I mean, actual bull. No. I mean, I'm a, 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 a centaur. A minotaur. A minute. A minotaur. A minotaur. Okay. <laughs> so. Let me ask you, would you have sex with a just straight up bull? No, absolutely not. But that doesn't make sense to me because the, you're interacting with the same sexual parts. I mean, like, not necessarily. I mean, I feel like the bull as as like an animal 
is less human and like not it's like it feels less acceptable uh, to me i i you know what my i'm neglecting the emotional element of this in my analysis. <laughs> but another thing is okay when you're getting fucked by the bull or when you're fucking the okay you you, you want to get fucked by the bull when you're getting fucked by the bull from where you would be spatially you won't you don't even know that it's a minotaur because if you're fucking the minotaur from behind you can see the guy's the back like the his you can see his hot back muscles and like you know his ha flowing hair and stuff but when you're underneath the minotaur getting fucked you can't really see the human part so i i can't see why it would be any different from getting fucked by a bull i mean and you guys you can't like really i talk. see like i see where you're coming from but also it's just like even if i couldn't tell it would just be like mentally the bull sure. is just way too animalistic and the minotaur sure. is just like at least mostly human Sure, you like the idea of emotionally connecting with a human being and then physically, sexually connecting with a bull and the combination of those two. I guess. <laughs> I'm, I mean, look, I, you know, I'm just asking because that, that, that's sort of what I'm getting. Yeah, I mean, totally. How much money would you pay to have sex with a, with a minotaur? Probably not a lot because, like, I'm not, I don't know, I'm a college student, but, like, I do have a, a Minotaur dildo <laughs> that was, like, 80 bucks. What, is, what does a Minotaur dildo look like? Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's, like, wide at the tip and it's kind of flat and it's, like, ridged. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> God, that sounds extremely painful. Um, I mean, like, not if you warm up enough. Also, I didn't... I'm not looking at chat because I don't want to hear what they have to say, but I did glance and someone said Bad Dragon. It's not Bad Dragon. I support smaller Etsy artists. Bad Dragon? Not Bad Dragon. That is a company that makes fantasy dildos, but I got mine from Wandering Bard. They're a small Etsy store. Interesting. See, here's what the, what's funny to me, to me about this, because we had someone else come on who told who told us that they want to fuck a dragon. Is yeah, that, Stevie. You know, I follow them on TikTok, Stevie. <laughs> oh yeah, I was about to see, you you and Stevie would be best friends, I think. Probably, um, probably. <laughs> um, it's so just because I, I, you know, I would think it's a joke, but uh, I mean, you you really do want to have sex with a minotaur. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> The cool thing about the Minotaur is that it can it can consent to sex more than a bull can. Yeah, absolutely. The, no, that's speak. like that's like a hundred percent. I wouldn't fuck a Minotaur if they couldn't consent. You know what I mean? If like they right. couldn't speak and like tell me that it was okay, then I wouldn't. Would you want the Minotaur to pursue you, like court you, oh, like, take you out to dinner, take you to the field, introduce you to its? Friends? I mean, they wouldn't. They wouldn't necessarily have to, but like that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I have one more Minotaur question before we go. When I think of a Minotaur, I think of... Is it... How many arms does a Minotaur have? Four, right? Two. No, two. It has two oh. legs, two arms. Okay, so if... Like... Like, is it a... How do I describe this? <laughs> Is it have as many leg like the four legs? What is it? What is it standing on? Is it to stand on a tiny leg? Stands on tiny legs. It stands like a person would, but it like the bottom. Okay, it half stands of on its hind legs, right? Yeah, yeah. That makes it's perfect sense. Four. Okay, now I I'd, I'd fuck I fuck one too for sure. Okay, bet yeah. See, that makes see sense. It. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, the way I was picturing it made a lot less sense, and now that I now that I know they stand on their hind legs, I totally get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. They stand on their leg, their hind legs. Okay. Um, I was picturing it differently. Super beefy all the time. Would love if they had, like, a giant septum ring. Beautiful. Awesome. 
and they have the, the giant horns. I'm sold. Same. See, it sounds like a good time. <laughs> well, listen, Devin, uh, you know, I hope one day it happens for you. You know, I wish. We'll see. You have a good day, man. You too. Call from Tristan. Tristan. Ducko. Who are you? Tell me everything. Oh, I'm good. I have a secret for you, Gecko. All right. It, this was back, I think it was in elementary school. I don't mm -hmm. remember what grade. Um, I had a friend, Dallin. Dallin was one of my good friends. Um, I don't remember who gave me the dare, but the dare was to kiss him and I'd get five bucks. Mm -hmm. So me as a kid, do I need to tell you when I was born? No, you sound like an adult. Oh, that's kind of bold. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, are you, so how old are you? I was born in 97. All right. All right. Um, All right, so you kissed I'm on the playground. Friend. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't just kiss him because he didn't want to be kissed. And it was the worst feeling because I had to, like, chase him down and kiss him. And I didn't feel great. And the worst part was I didn't even get my five dollars. Uh, all right. Old. So, have, <laughs> how old? How old were you guys? This was elementary school. I think it was like fifth or sixth grade, but I don't remember which exact one because it was so long ago. Have you have you since spoken with your friends about? Because uh, look, I mean, because I, I, you know, there's a chance that he could carry this with him to this day. I have not spoken about it with him. Um, we kind of stayed in touch, though, every once in a while. Um, he talked about, like, he went to another state and he works at a pot farm now. Um, okay. Really weird. But we haven't really talked about that incident ever. Do you think it would help? Well, I don't know if, he, do, I don't know if he'd want to. Well, exactly. Um, I don't know. It'd be weird to bring it up. Um, it could be it a also kind of leads, it up. yeah, it leads him in today too because like I consider myself a straight man, okay. but but sometimes when I get really really drunk, mm -hmm. I might say some questionable things, um, and like I've got a bidet right because sure. it's it's hygiene, um, mm -hmm. but sober. I can only use it at like maybe half blast, mm -hmm. but if I get enough drinks, I can just crank that thing to the max. So, you, so you you think that you might be gay when you uh, when you drink? I I don't when I drink maybe. I, I mean, like, look. Does this cause you? I mean, look. Here's the thing. Uh, you know, this is fine, man. You know. There's no, there's, uh, there's, there's, uh, I hope this isn't causing you stress. It shouldn't cause you stress. I mean, you know, uh, uh, you guys were young. You know, you what you do with with his friend. That's a whole sort of different thing. But look, man, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with feeling pleasure at things that maybe in the past you thought you never would. There's nothing wrong with being open minded. You know. Well, I, mean, like, I think your fear, your fear from yeah. this is, is that you're holding on so tight to your identity, but why? What are you trying to protect it from? You know, are you comfortable with who you are? Do you, do, 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 do you, are you embarrassed at the idea of other people thinking that, you know, you like, you like using a bidet for sexual pleasure? Why? I don't know. I don't, no, no, that's not what happened. I thought that's what you were implying. Wait, hello? What's your name? I'm still here. I hear myself gone? now. Hold on. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, wait. That's what's happening. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, the Twitch was open on I pressed it with my face. Um, oh, I was there we go. really confused for a second. Um, no, that's... There you are. It was kind of like... It was kind of more like not... The confusion using is it for pleasure. <laughs> like, not using it for pleasure, but more just like... It's intolerable when sober, but when drunk, it's like, I don't even feel it, you know? 
I mean, this could there could be a physical element to this. I don't know if this is necessarily, uh, you know, a statement on your sexuality as a whole, but I mean, I, I you know, maybe, I don't know, your, your muscles... Uh, I mean, I'm not a doctor. We're getting into doctor anatomy territory here, but alcohol has certain effects on the muscles, and maybe it makes your ability to receive pressure anally uh, easier. I don't know what I should do in this situation. This you don't have to do any. Why, you don't have to do anything. Well, no. There's no action required of you. There's no... Well, what, what to do... Because a... my girlfriend... I, I have a girlfriend, and... My girlfriend is bisexual, okay. and my girlfriend may want to stick certain objects in certain places. Okay. Um, and the only times I've considered it is when drunk. Well, <laughs> I mean, look, don't let being drunk make you do things you don't want to do. If you want my personal opinion, I think that if you're willing to do something drunk but not willing to do it sober, you probably shouldn't do it. That's a fair point. But I mean, I don't think I'd necessarily regret it. Alright. I just don't, I don't know, like... That's... That's like reverse poop. Look, man, look. Do whatever feels right to you. I just I don't want I don't want to see you depriving yourself of, of of pleasure just because you're trying to keep up with some sort of identity that you've crafted of yourself. That's fair. I, you're speaking facts right now. I, I respect that. What'd you say your name was? Tristan. Well, good luck. Have fun, Tristan. I love you, Mr. Gecko. Thank you. Call from Carson. Carson. Hello? Hey! Hey! I forgot how to do this. Just now. I, I, let's see, it's been about a year of me doing this. I forgot how to do this. I don't know how to do this anymore. I forgot. Just in this moment. I'll, I think next call, I'll, figure, I'll remember, but I forgot how to do this just now. How to do what? Just kidding. Me saying that I forgot how to do this is part of... The fact that I have such a mastery of how to do this, that, um, you know, I can break the rules. I can play outside the boundaries. Oh, man. Breaking them. Just break them. All right, so you're on board. I'm on board. What's your secret? Yeah. Well, man, my secret's related to a, a secret from earlier. Oh, my please. girlfriend gives it to me, man. I hope that guy's still listening to it. It's great. Oh fuck! All right, we we got we got to talk now. Please, please, please tell me uh, tell me what you want. You tell me what you would have told him. I would have told him, man, don't be afraid because I was, and you know you just gotta accept it and enjoy it because it's it's great and it's intimate and it's beautiful, and you just gotta have you just gotta live life like that. Mm. Uh, how recently did she start doing this with you? Uh, like three or four months. Mm. And was it a lot to get you to agree to it? I mean, it's something I thought about for a while, but we never, I don't know, I never talked about it with girls before her, and she kind of had done that with girls, and it just kind of developed. Mm. At first uh. I was like, oh, masculinity, masculinity, but, you know. You gotta live. I respect that. I respect that, um, you know, this is clearly something that interests you. It's clearly something that interested that caller. Um, but for whatever reason, they just didn't want to follow follow their nose. Or Oh, man, maybe it wasn't penis. his nose. You know, who knows? Hmm. But, uh, how's your yeah, if it is, you can try. Well, we're not married, but it's great. You know, we got similar interests and she's great and you know opening new experiences <laughs> you're like the happiest guy I've spoken to all night I think oh man I don't know about that that guy that wanted to bang the minotaur was pretty happy he was oh, but for a second I'm like is getting pegged to the secret to happiness <laughs> I don't know maybe you kind of got me thinking that right now nah it, it, I think the secret to happiness is just you know, 
not robbing yourself of experiences and, and, and being kind. I like that. What'd you say your name was? Carson. Thank you so much for sharing, Carson. Well, thank you, Gecko Man. Hmm. I, I almost is is there is there anything else you wanted to talk about, Carson? Well, I mean, not really. Uh, you know, that, that was a response to that guy. Minotaur Man was he was pretty funny. Uh, he was pretty funny. I've actually met people that wipe, uh, wipe, wipe the wrong way before as well. I had a fa- uh, a family friend when we were growing up we to do a fit over it. Call once. in after every caller and just be like, "Hey, you know, I know a guy that was dealing with the same problem, and he, they turned out fine. So good luck." You know, I feel like that would be a good um, pick me up for all these people. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. I think you do a great job in that, man. You're always. Like raising people up, even when it's a sad thing, you know. I think it's great. What you're doing is awesome. Well, thank you, man. I, I appreciate that. You have a good rest of the night. Yeah, you take care. That's just, like, I mean, that's just the great. That's just the greatest advertisement for getting pegged of all time. Just that guy. Carson's the happiest person I've met in my entire life. Call from Prescott. Prescott. Oh my God, Gak! What's going on? What did you, what were you doing before you called in? Uh, I am writing a paper right now on Islamic law. A paper on Islamic law. That is correct. Is that a subject that is uh, you know of particular interest to you, or are you just writing it because you have to? I'm writing it because I am in a class on Islamic law, so I, I have to do this. Okay, are you taking the class on Islamic law because it's of interest to you, or because you have to to achieve some sort of um, other goal? Uh, it's, it's, it's of interest of me. I love the professor too. It's a good class, really mm-hmm. fun class. How did you get involved in? Or how did you get interested in Islamic law? Are you are you uh, 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 practice Islam? Uh, no, I do not. I uh, took a class with this professor examining the origins of religion in the Middle East, and I really liked it. And then I got really interested in the Middle East, and so a lot of my papers uh, in college have been kind of related to topics in the Middle East, uh, like Libya and stuff. Interesting. Uh, do you feel as though um, you have a, you've broadened your perspective uh, learning uh, about cultures that are different than your own? Uh, I would definitely say so. I would definitely say so. What's your name? Uh, Prescott. Prescott? Yeah. What's your secret? Um, oh, jeez. Oh, what was my... Oh, uh, I guess my secret is uh, there's a photo of me in a naked calendar. Are you fully naked or are you covering any part of your... Uh, uh, you cannot see my penis, but my ass cheeks are fully out. Well, nice my body spread. is fully out. They're not spread, but they are on a pole. They're on a pole, are like, like, like wrapped around the pole. Uh, you know, like a golf tee or like the the golf flag. Yes, it's like up against that. <laughs> my my penis was in the the hole, and then my ass was up on the pole. Wait, your penis was wait. That doesn't make sense because the how can your penis be in the hole, but your ass is up against the pole? Because I, I pulled the flag out and I oh, okay. like stuck it between my thighs. Okay, so the all right, so the pole is being held by your ass cheeks, pretty much. And um, how did you come to be a part of this project? Uh, oh man, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, simplest way is uh, college antics, money, specifically money for alcohol. Mm. Um, yeah. And, you know, uh, uh, stop me if this is private information, but what does a shoot like that tend to pay out? Um, oh man, I don't remember what it paid out. Um, jeez. It was, I will just say, I mean, I did not get paid for that specifically, but I don't think it honestly paid out that much money. What Um, do you mean you didn't get paid for that specifically? 
Well, it was a, it was like a community ordeal. Like there were multiple people who were part of the calendar. I was just I was I think okay, I was. It was a charity know, calendar. Up. Yes. In a sense. Who did it benefit? Uh, it benefited all of us because the money went towards uh, drinking money. So like we got like kegs, I think. I don't really remember. Oh, this was like okay. 2019. Okay. Okay. So now like a charity, like for the, uh, uh, school well, day. it was charity. It was for, it benefited more than just me, you know? So, it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I gave back to the people. You know? Do you think you would have made more money had you shown your penis? Um, you know, or less money. I don't think the, ca well, I don't think we would have made any money because then the calendar wouldn't be able to be made. Cause like they did, they said no explicit nudity could be in the calendar. Like the calendar Who's people they? did. The calendar people. Big calendar. You know what doesn't make sense to me is like, how do you get that far as to be like, all right, it's cool if you shove a flagpole between your ass, but it's not cool if you show your oh. penis. Like, if you're going to go that far, just complete, just hey, hey, to do the blame penis. The calendar That's all I'm saying. Company. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Saying. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Prescott. You have a wonderful night, Prescott. All right, you too. Call from Not the Zodiac Killer. Not the Zodiac Killer. Uh, yes, I am in fact not, not, not him. Hold on, not the Zodiac Killer. I, I, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but someone in the chat just said, "Could we film and send nature for footage for me to use?" And I want to say yes because that actually sounds really awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, not the Zodiac Killer. All right, so what's uh? You know, not the Zodiac Killer. Look, um... <clears throat> yes. Uh, I, I... Yeah. I, I'd so much rather hear about what you are than about what you yeah. are not. That's more interesting to me. Yeah. Um, what do you want to know? I'm an open book. Hmm. Well, is there any particular <laughs> reason that you called in not the Zodiac Killer? Okay, I'm going to be real with you. I've, be real with you. I still? have a... I I have, I have a secret and I was like trying to figure out like what what to call myself when I called in because I was nervous because I don't want any my friends listen to this and I don't want them to hear my secret my fiance's okay, downstairs if your I had to leave listen I had to this, they'll, they're probably going to rec they'll probably recognize your voice No I've disguised it perfectly it's What do you mean you disguised it perfectly disguised. No I'm I'm disguising my voice like my voice is so different than what the voice that I am using right now. Really? Completely. Oh yeah. What, oh, what yeah. is your real? How how is it different? <laughs> like okay, can you describe so how your voice? Because your voice is it's very you sound like a normal voice. You don't sound you don't sound like you're like doing a thing. Yeah, no, it's about the showbiz, baby, baby. You know, just I'm really good at changing my voice, and this is not what my real voice sounds like. You know. Smoke and mirrors. That's so interesting. I don't know, because, like, I yeah. can do different voices, but I can't do another... I mean, you're... This is a normal person voice. I can't do one... Do, I can... Like, I can do, like, this, this like, silly voice, but that, like, sounds like I'm doing... I can't do another yeah. voice that just sounds like a normal voice. Maybe I should start a Twitch channel where I teach people how to change and disguise their voices to, to call into other Twitch channels. Maybe. What's your secret? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is... I had to leave the room. My fiance is probably watching this right now, and I feel bad because I'm going to reveal something about myself that's, like, really embarrassing. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So, you know how... You know how when you, um... When you poop? Um... You know how you... You know how, like, most people wipe from front to back? I have always wiped back to front. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. What's your real voice? Weird? What's your real voice? That, What's your real voice? Real... No, it's, is, is that your real voice? Real... Yeah, this is my real voice. I, I would never be able to pull that off. In the heat of the moment. This is it. This is me. <laughs> that's, 
that, this is my is secret. That, is that that bad? I just glanced the chat just now, and they said they can lead to a UTI. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I've been... I... So, I was just always taught this way. No, maybe it wasn't... I don't remember being taught a certain way. I don't remember way. being taught either. Right? Like, do you... Lesson. I mean, like, I don't, I don't want to ask you, because, like, it's personal. Like, you, you don't have to share your secret. But, like, you can ask no me one anything. taught me how to do this. Okay, well, like you're. Yeah, I, I think, think that you that... are. I think that you're overestimating the secret, the secrecy of uh, and the personalness of pooping. I I feel like a lot of people actually like to talk about pooping more than we give people credit for. Like, I feel like if we walk oh, into a room of like at like a party and you're like front to back, back to front, like let's discuss. I feel like. It would be a I don't even know. I'm like, it. even like. I don't know. Like, is it bad? Like, is that bad? I've been shamed by pe- people close to me when I've told them this a little bit. And they say the same thing. UTI, yeast infection, whatever. I've never gotten any of those. And I'm like, number. okay, here's another thing. The days are a magical invention by humanity that take care of a lot of things. You know, like. Bidets are a magical thing, and I am pro bidet. Now, I, now I, you're starting to lose me here. Now I have no idea what you're talking about. The days. Bidet, what do you bidet? mean the days? The days are a magical bidet. thing. Bidet, so... Oh, I thought you said the days. You own a bidet? No, 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 yeah. Um, okay, well, here's another chink in the armor with this. I'm, I'm very... I'm upset about this right now, and I hope my fiancé is listening. So our bidet broke recently, and I've been yelling at not yelling at him i've just been like we need to buy another bidet and he's like we're not going to buy a 20 dollar bidet on amazon we need to like get a nice bidet if we're going to get a bidet anyways it's not that's not important i we don't have a bidet right now we used to have a day it's like clean but cleanliness people you know i don't know all right so apparently just, it leads to a uti because apparently i mean i don't have a vagina but apparently yeah it can be really I sound bad. Like the apparently kid that viral video. You, when you're wiping back to yeah. front, you end up wiping poop into your vagina, which apparently can but, cause UTI. Okay. okay, this is a conversation that I've had before. Of like, I have never like the the angle that you can the angle. It's all about the angles. Like you, you like never get that far. And maybe I'm built different. I don't know. I'm not I honestly. I'm not uh, what's sure. your name? I have never. Um, I have not given a name for. I'm gonna call you Nora. Years. Nora. Um, yes. You know, you seem like a normal human being. I don't. I, I don't think that. I, I, I don't think that you knowingly wipe poop into your vagina. I, you've got to have a system no. to wipe that far. So I don't know why everyone keeps yeah. saying you're gonna get a UTI. I don't know why everyone thinks it's so gross. It doesn't make. I, 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 don't, actually, I don't. I don't really. It doesn't. It doesn't really. I, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the concern. I honestly like they should shame. Like I've act- actively tried to teach myself to go the other way, and it feels so weird. Like I don't know. I, I like maybe I need to watch tutorial. Like I I cannot. It feels so weird to go the other way. Mm. And maybe I need to practice more. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm really glad. That I shared this with. I'm, you I'm, look, I'm glad. I, I'm glad I could be a catalyst in you getting this off your chest. I'm very happy to have been here I for th- this. I needed. To, I needed to work through it. Um, but in your opinion, do you think like you wipe? You you uh, you're a guy. You wipe front to back. Probably, yes. Right? As a gecko. I don't have an, a, I don't have an opinion gecko. on the method because I, I mean I don't have an opinion on the method because everyone in the chat is like, oh, that's gross, and I'm like, I don't, I don't even know. I'm just like, yeah. You know, I get it. Well, but, I hope that none of my friends heard this tonight because they would why? probably know that, that, that. That's 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 where I'm like, look, what's Nora? Nora, <laughs> who cares about your your friends and what they think about the way that you poop? All right, you know, it I just matter. don't. I I, I don't want to be known as like the poopy pants of this. Friend. No, they're gonna. They're, if you they're they're gonna be like, oh my god, you were on the gecko <laughs> show. Yeah, that's true. Okay. They, they won't even. They won't even. They won't even. They won't even know the fact that you that you poop. I mean, they know that you poop. Everyone poops. You ever read the book? Everyone poops. Mm-hmm. Nora, I love you, and I believe that one day our souls will be intertwined together forever in the kingdom of heaven. And I appreciate you calling in and sharing what you share with us. I appreciate your vulnerability. Yeah, hell, Satan. Hell, Satan. You have a good night. Bye. 
call from? Jolioli. Jolioli. Oh, hi. Hi. What's going on? How are you? What's your secret, Jolioli? Um, let's see. I have two secrets. Um, do you want the spicier one or the more mundane one? Mm, let's, let's start with the mundane. I think we work our way up. So that way, I mean, that makes sense, right? Because that way the spicier one will seem even more spicy as opposed to the mundane one seeming uh, not as spicy in comparison to the spicy one. Yeah. Okay. I like that. It's, we have to like work up to it, get to know each other a bit better. Okay. Um, so I think for the mundane one is that I have used um, <laughs> my stepdad as a recommendation to get the majority of jobs I've gotten. Mm. The majority <laughs> of jobs you've gotten. How many jobs have you gotten on your stepdad's recommendation? Uh, I think three. <laughs> now, what I am curious about is, does your stepdad work at these places, or does he have nothing to do with them, and he's just a very persuasive guy? Um, so like he's just I... very good at se- he like he doesn't have a relationship with the people that own the place or anything. He's just very good at persuading them at your um, competence. Because that would be yeah, that would he's... be impressive. I would take advantage of that skill. Yeah, he's a salesman, um, and so he's. I think he's like really good at just like uh, selling my personality. But the issue is that like I tell them that he's just my hockey coach. Like they, everyone who like every job I've applied to thinks that he is my hockey coach with zero relation to me. Wait, this still doesn't make sense. Jolie, how old are you? I'm 21. Uh, hmm. Okay, so so your stepdad doesn't work at these places. No. Oh, so, so he's right. Like, Interesting. That's impressive. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Okay. What's the spicier secret? Um, the spicier secret is that I, um, <laughs> um, I once, um, had sex in the same room as my best friend. Okay, I thought you were going to say your stepdad. Knowing. No. <laughs> with a guy who your stepdad recommended have sex with you. <laughs> um, he recommended me for the job that put me in the place where I had sex with the person. Okay, that's 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 less direct than what I described, but um, yeah, I would. Okay, you had sex in a room with your best friend next to you. Uh, below me, but yeah. W- below you. All right, so they were in another. All right, so that's like, I mean, that's kind of the same. Like, if you live with someone and they're mm-hmm. in the living room watching TV while you're in your room having sex with someone, I mean, that's it's pretty normal. No, we're like on a bunk bed. Oh, okay, that makes it less. Uh, now, okay, did, did you sort of do a post evaluation with your friend in the morning? Did they tell you, yeah, that was a little uncomfortable? Um, you know, I mean, how did they feel about it? Um, they never said anything to me. Mm. Um, I mean, okay, to be fair, their partner was also in the bed with them, but. Uh, we just really never talked about it. <laughs> so how do you know that they were even, uh, you know, conscious of the fact that you were having sex above them? If they never mentioned anything, they could have been asleep. They could have been having sex with each other and too focused on, you know, each other's love energies to, you know, be concerned with yours. I mean, yeah, I guess I never really thought about it that way. Um, I guess I was more like caught up in the fact that like I knew I did it, you know? Mm. Do you feel bad about this? Do you feel guilty about this? A little bit. Because, I mean, I wouldn't want to be in their situation, right? Where, like, I was just sitting there and people were having sex below me. Well, you should apologize. And then you should offer to let them have sex above you in the same bunk bed to make it even. I'll let them know that you said that. What did you say your name was? Uh, Jolioli. Jolioli. Like, Roly Polioli. You ever seen Roly Polioli? Oh, is that that kid show when they're all like round and yellow? Yes, that's the one. <laughs> yes, they it had a fun like a uh, theme song too. It did. You have a good, yeah. you have a wonderful rest of the night, Jolie. Thank you.
Thank you. You too, Gek. That's not that bad. I, 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 I mean, I, 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 who hasn't had sex in, uh, I mean, oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, it was the bunk beds. Eh, that's not that bad. Like, at first I thought she was just like, oh, they were below him in like another room. Like there was like a wall. What's the, what do you, what do you put in caulk shit in between them? Call from. John. John. So. My secret's kind of. <laughs> I can't get it out. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Take your time. So, uh, uh, me and my buddies were, <laughs> my buddies were trying to uh, trick me into showing them my penis. They were trying to <laughs> trick you into showing them. Did this involve a calendar? No, uh, my buddies were saying that they were bigger than me. Okay. And they actually never showed the pictures to each other. And it took me like five minutes to try to get a hard on. And when I took the picture, dude, uh, it was a bad angle. All it showed was just the mushroom top. Mm. There was no girth or length. It was just the tip of the penis. Like... You shot it from, like, a top-down perspective. Yeah. And now that I can't live it down, or they won't let me... Uh, they just call me Shroomish, you know, the Pokemon. They call you Shroomish? Mushroom top. Yeah. What's your name? It's John. John. Um... Yeah, my I friends just, call you Shroomish. Listen, John, you gotta yeah, get new friends. Yeah. You gotta get new friends, man. I gotta tell you that, you know, the number one quality I look for in a friend is, is you know, acceptance of me regardless of the size of my penis. And I think you need to, you need to, John, have you ever thought about, like, you know, a lot of times we pick our friends very passively. We sort of just go through life and whoever our friends are, are our friends. But John, have you ever thought about... Setting more defined criteria for who you choose to spend your time with, and maybe including in that criteria people who will not judge you for the size of your penis. You know, I really like hanging out with these guys, though, so, I mean... Why do you like hanging out with them? You know, they make me laugh. They make me smile. They're just really good friends. I've had them for a long time. Mm. But you obviously don't like when they make fun of your penis. I mean, really, I should have never, they would have never known if I didn't show them. But I guess. Well, look, uh, I, don't think it's your, I don't think it's your fault, John. John, John, look. You know, it's not your fault. Yeah, you're right. It's not. They made you, they made you feel comfortable. They, they made you feel, they're your friends, right? You know, they put you in a situation yeah. in which they made you feel comfortable enough to. Show them your penis, and then they took advantage of it. Yeah, they tricked me, but, you know, yeah, it, it's okay, though, no, because, you know, it may be small, but it still gets the job done, you know what I mean? See, that's the thing, John, is how do you feel about your penis? And it sounds to me like you've got a good self-image. Yes, man. Of the yeah, penis. yeah. And I think you should continue to have that self-image. I think you should continue to believe in the strength of your own penis, regardless of what others might think. Well, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Of course. Of I really raised my self-confidence. So I appreciate it. Of course. Of course. You have a great night, John. You too. Call from... Gimbo. Hello? Call from Gimbo. Hello? Hey, Gecko. <laughs> this is Are cool. You okay? Yeah, I'm watching the live stream for like the second or third time. Thought I'd call in. Live stream? 
Yeah. Well, what? It's on Twitch, right? What? <laughs> what did you say your name was again? Jimbo. Jimbo, what's your secret, man? Oh man, let's let's go for the the, the one from my childhood. Hit me. So, uh, in the uh, there was like a wild area behind the fence uh, in my childhood at home, and I don't know what possessed me, but when I was a kid, I would go back there and take giant shits in the woods. Mm. <laughs> uh, and I would sneak paper towels out in my pocket from the house. <laughs> you know, I kind of do a similar thing, not with shit, but with piss. Like, I... I where I am, where I like do my whatever during the day, where I usually am during the day, I'm equidistant. I'm equally close to a bathroom, like a real bathroom, as I am to like just going outside of my house and peeing in in my in my like backyard. Um, and I always choose to go pee in the backyard because it's, I I like being outside. It's nice to, to take a little moment to be outside. I understand why you did what you did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, I realized the whole kind of taking a dump in the, behind the woods was kind of weird, but, but <laughs> I don't know. But, <laughs> here's the thing. I, like, with piss, I understand it, but taking a dump in the woods is not in, – pee, peeing in the woods can be fun. Taking a dump in the woods is not, is not really enjoyable. A dump is sort of a different thing. A dump, I, I, I like to be in privacy, like of my own home. I said, uh, the way I thought through it was, I guess it was the, the natural thing to do, because at some point, somebody had to shit in the woods, right? Mm. Okay, it was an attempt to be more in touch with nature, with your primal being. Let, let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And this was something you did as a child, correct? Oh, yes. How old are you now? Uh, late 20s. Late twenties, and in your late twenties, do you feel as though you are more connected with your primal being than you were at that age? Uh, not even close. Mm. I haven't gone camping or, uh, hell, even hiking in a while. Mm. At what point? It's on my to-do list. At what point in your life, and for what reason, do you believe you started to make less of an effort? Uh, toward connecting with your primal self? At some point, it just felt tedious. And so I always think of it weird that we live in boxes and then that are so far removed from nature that you have to get in a car and drive to it. That, that just seems so crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, and so I almost feel like I'm wasting time and resources getting to nature when I should really be, I should, it would be nice to just step out of Stay your house there. and be there. Mm. Well, you know, the, the temptations of the modern world are, are wonderful. I mean, yeah, I have everything I could possibly need right in the house. And um, my incentive to travel to the woods is very low. So yeah. I, I, I don't fault you for losing that battle. Yeah. What did you say your name was? All right, man. Uh, we're going to go with Jimbo. Jimbo! <laughs> Thank you for calling. You have a wonderful rest of the night. Mm -hmm. You too, Gecko. This is cool. Have a good one. Bye. This was cool. Thank you. He almost called me Jimbo. He almost called me by his name. That would have been romantic. Call me by your name and I'll call you by mine. I never understood that, by the way. That, 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 does anyone else, that, that, did anyone else like, not get that? 
What does that mean? Why is that romantic? It feels weird. You ever called someone by your name? It feels weird. I don't understand. Can someone explain that to me? Because it doesn't make sense. Why is it like a romantic thing? It's like a marriage last name thing. You guys have seen the movie Call Me By Your... You know the movie Call Me By Your Name. What do you mean no one here knows what that means? It was, a, it was like an Oscar winning movie or something. Call Me By Your Name. Oh, and it's also that's also in the fucking Little Nas song. Call Me By Your Name. I'm not going insane. That's a, so this is a thing. Did it win an Oscar in the 70s? What do you how old are you guys? What do you mean? It's like a two-year-old movie, three-year-old movie. Alright, I might be going a little insane. I'm not gonna tell you that I'm not going insane. I'm not gonna think really hard about what I'm doing right now, talking into a stick alone in my house, wearing a gecko costume, and tell you that I'm not insane. Fully. I don't think I'm fully insane, but to tell you I'm not insane whatsoever, I think would be preemptive. Call from Jamie. Jamie. Hey, what's up? What's up? What? Um, nothing much. I'm just here. I <sighs> We st we were really on a good roll with the whole having it with trying to have a conversation, and then it just I don't know if this is a technical thing or if you lost no, no, confidence no, no, in what no. you were saying, and so you started to mumble it or. Uh, but, but, I don't know that. <laughs> um, just just want to just want to tell you something. Um, I tried so many times to call you exactly about. 72 times. Jamie, am I on speakerphone right now? Uh, yeah, now you're not. <laughs> you're, oh my god, you sound so much better. Okay, what's up, Jamie? Tell me what you wanted to tell oh, me. Okay. Cool. All right, yeah. Um, so, you're a gecko, right? I'm a gecko, this is true. Yeah, all right, good. Uh, and geckos can uh, re re uh, regenerate limbs or body parts, anything that they need, right? Some of them. Some of them, okay. Some of them. Um, I'm legally blind, right? Okay. Uh, I can't see out of my right eye. <laughs> sure. I, I could... You, I want, bet, I bet you, want, you, you want me to give you my eyes. <laughs> this is what yeah, this is. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here's the thing, is that I am not 100% sure that... Yeah. Even if I could give you my eye... Yeah, yeah. Even if you offered me... Maybe an exorbitant price for it. Yeah. In the hundreds of thousands of dollars range. Mm -hmm. And if I did decide to take mm -hmm. that offer. Yeah. Um, I don't think that my eye would, 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 would work on you because I have a lizard eye There's and you have human sockets. It'd be like trying um, to plug. Hey, what if I wasn't you know, USB a human? Classic and the USB C. What? What if I wasn't a human? Uh, what are you? Um, I am a a different type of gecko, actually. If you didn't you're a different that. type of gecko. Well, if you're a different type of gecko, then why doesn't your eye regenerate? Because. Um, uh, I really don't know. I've been going to these uh, doctors, and honestly, like nothing's working. Do you and... not know because you're lying? Okay. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Look, Jamie. Yeah. It's really inappropriate to ask people for their body parts. Mm -hmm. In such a public setting like this. Yeah. Next time Sorry. send me a DM. Uh, Alright, I will. Um, yeah. 
um, I'm really sorry for putting you on the spot there, you know. And also, public. I, I understand now. I love you, Jamie. I'll talk to you soon. I love you, too. See you. Call you back. Call from Haley. Haley! Hello? Haley, it's, it's the Gecko. Oh, my God. Hi. Um, have, we, have we ever talked before, Haley? No. Um, well, Haley, how are you doing today? This is doing great. <laughs> um, I'm... I'm calling to get some advice. Oh, okay. Well, look, um... I will do... I, I will do the best I can at, to give you advice. Yeah. My dad's girlfriend's a bitch. Your dad's girlfriend is a bitch. Yes. Okay. She, she She's nice sometimes, but not all the time. Okay. I know, right? I agree. To, well, so, but, so you're asking, what, like, what to do about it? I don't know. How old Honestly, are you, Haley? I'm turning twenty in a couple of days. Well, happy birthday! Well, here's the thing. Here's the <laughs> kind of your problem right now is that um, you, I. I mean, uh, someone might disagree with me, and this is why I'm not an advice guy, but uh, you kind of can't do anything. There's yeah. kind of nothing you can do. Yes. Your dad... That was... Uh, it, you know... Kind, you kind of can't influence who he dates, uh, even if they suck. Yeah. Do I move out? Yeah. Do you move out? Um, it's also expensive, though. Look, are you, you're in school or do you work? I work. Okay. All right. If you work, that's sick. If you work, I think you should. I think you should live at home as long as you humanly can. Okay. I've been trying to save up. Yeah, because having savings is cool. So, I mean, is your girl... Okay, your dad's girlfriend, is she, like, horrible to you? Does she hit you? Does she abuse you? Not, 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 no, no, not, 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 like, abusive, abusive. Okay, all right, that's good. Not, not, like, hits me. Okay. She just, like, sucks. She just sucks. Um... There's nothing you can really do about that. Don't move out. I don't think you should move out. If she was like hitting you and like abusive and yelling at you, then I would say yes, you gotta do something about that. But that she just sucks. Eh. But it's like only her and I, and it's just like meh. It's only her what? Her and I all the time. So we're just like meh. Oh, it's it's mainly why? Is your dad at work or something? Yeah. So we're just like it's just her and I chilling, and we're both like, I don't. I'm like, I don't think you like me, and she's kind of like, oh. Well, if she doesn't like you and you don't like her, that's perfect because you don't have to ever talk to her ever. I know, but then she, then like, she awkwardly tries sometimes when she wants. Why you know what, Haley? Why does she suck? You haven't really been able to articulate why she sucks. I haven't heard like she yells at me. She calls me. Fat, she, whatever, I, she's mean to my dad. I haven't heard any, I haven't heard any, like, things. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, am I angering you? No, I'm just, I, no. oh, okay. I'm angering sorry. me, Haley. I think my phone, sorry, my phone is really, really. Uh, Haley, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm pretty stoned. I honestly oh. have just word vomits coming out. Sure. I wish we had a better topic to talk about. 
What's what's your secret, Haley? What is my my secret? Yeah. Do I seem like I have a secret? <laughs> How fucking high are you, Haley? Pretty pretty high. Listen, go go drink some water, Haley. I got water. Good. Well, look, don't move out. Save as much money as you can, and you'll uh, be thankful that you did. Okay. Try to be nice to your uh, your your dad's girlfriend, even if she's not nice to I you. Try. For your own I sake. Try. All right, I'll yeah. talk to you later, Haley. Okay. Bye. Therapy goes on.